Where am I today? Marcus Conti reporting from Eltingville, Staten Island. If you want the zip, it's 10312. If you want to Google map where I am, Richmond Avenue and Amboy Road. Richmond Avenue, Amboy Road, 10312. So what am I doing here, right? This is the home of the QAnon killer. We're tracking the QAnon killer, for lack of a better term, Anthony Camillo. We're going to be very, dis uh, very respectful in the neighborhood today. And um, we're just going to have a walk. We're going to see what's going on. So what do we know? So, so it's just a regular, I just wanted to be here because I wanted to show people Staten Island, right? It's just a regular neighborhood. We could be really anywhere in America right now. You have all the conveniences. You have, you know, you see Burger King, Dunkin' Donuts. You got some mom and pop shops, Italian restaurant maybe. Some Richmond Savings Bank. A little bit of a, it's like a YMCA over here, right? So what the hell is going on? So what do we know? Anthony Camillo, 24 years old. I'm going to walk down the block, but I'm not going to, I'm going to try not to be, I stand out like a sore thumb here. <laughs> I'm a little self-conscious, so it might not be my best work. Anyway, so Anthony Camillo, 24 years old. He lives with his family. Right? Now, what happened? What happened? What, why are we here? The Gambino, the boss of the Gambino crime family, one of the five top crime families of all time in New York, the leader, his name is Frankie Boy Cali. Frankie Cali, Frankie Boy Cali got whacked in front of his home in Toad Hill, a couple of miles away. Right? And what happened? Ten bullets? The kid, what happened was there was an incident in front of the house. The QAnon killer lured him out of his house. He banged into his car and knocked the license plate off, apparently. Right? And so, so he, then, he then brings the license plate and rings on the guy's doorbell and says, here, I knocked your license plate off. There's apparently footage of the, um, the incident. The police apparently have footage. And... What else do we know? So, so, he, so he's at the door. He hands the guy his license plate, knocks the license plate off. Pulls out a 9mm, shoots him, fires 12 shots, hits with 10 shots, kills him. Right? Gets back in his pickup truck, his white pickup truck, and drives to New Jersey, where he, where he hides out. He doesn't come back here to Eltingville. He goes to New Jersey with a family member of some sort. I'll, I'll talk about that at the end. So, so that's all we know. We don't have a confession. We don't have really a motive. Who is the guy? He lives, he's just a regular guy who lives in Staten Island, right? I want to, I want to see some of, I want you to see some of the homes, right? Because he's, he's not, I grew up this way, right? In a, you know, middle class kind of family in the 80s, right? And the homes are nice. They're, you know, two story homes. Some of them are one family to family, right? There's nothing, there's nothing outrageous or highly interesting about where he lives, right? But he lived, he lived in a home. He went to a, uh, a high school close by, Tottenville High School, which is, it's predominantly a white, whitish kind of area, you know? He's a white, Italian, Irish, mostly Catholic. He got an evangelist church on the corner over here. Right, so he lives. He, he lives in his. He lives at home, over here on Redford Avenue, about a block away. Again, I'm going to be very respectful. I'm not going knocking on anybody's door. I, I don't want to talk to anybody. It's just a. It's just a. To get a feel of the neighborhood. That's what I want people to, to know who he is. Because how does it connect to QAnon, the killing? You know, how did he? How did? Why did he do it? There's still no motive. Right. So his father's a construction worker. His older brother is a construction worker. His, also, his older brother also has a history of uh, 
a criminal felony hanging over his head for assaulting a woman. Still open case, so we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. The sister is a St. John's University student. The mother is what we would call bridge and tunnel people, right? Meaning that she, she lives in Staten Island, but she takes a bridge and a tunnel to get to Manhattan every day to work. And she has for 28 years, she works for Bloomberg. This is according to the New York Times reporting. Right? Most of the, 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 the details, right? So, so, so is Camillo, right? He's a 24-year-old kid. He's a construction worker. He works with his dad sometimes, right? Smokes Marlboro Red. Apparently, he had an Oxycontin addiction, right? And uh, Marlboro Red, Oxycontin, QAnon addiction, right? So, so, so he does this devastating thing. He shoots the boss of the Gambino crime family, right? Of anybody in the world, of anybody, anybody alive, he picks the Gambino boss, right? Why? Why did he do it? Did Q tell him to do it? Is it, is it, are we, uh, has Q turned into a, a, a vigilante crew? A, vig- a bunch of vigilantes shooting each other now? Is that what we're going to expect from Q? It started as a, as a LARP, as a, as a, to, to say that Trump was leaking out information to the public. That, that it was, it was Trump himself and Trump's people in high, high command, high military command. But now one of your own has turned around and shot a crime boss for reasons we still don't know, right? So Frankie Boy Cali, leader of the Gambino crime family, one of the most notorious organizations around, right? Gambinos, right up there with, watch, watch Casino, watch The Godfather, watch, uh, you know, A Bronx Tale. Eh? You want to catch up on your mob? Watch those, watch those movies. Goodfellas, oh, one of the best, right? So, so, so there he is. He's a, he's from Sicily. He's the mob boss, declared the Godfather. Right? Has no real criminal history, no criminal record, really. Right? Police have video of the shooting. That's what we want to see, really. I don't think we ever will. But he was the strong, quiet type, 53 years old from Sicily, Italy. Um, Camillo's relationship to him is is very gray. It borders on fantasy, kind of like he fantasized about celebrities and politicians. Right? Right? Anthony Camillo. And he went as far as going to the federal court building in New York and trying to get a citizen's arrest for Bill de Blasio, uh, Maxine Waters, who else? Um, uh, Nancy Pelosi, (laughs) Adam Schiff. He went, he went to the Metropolitan Building, Metropolitan Federal Courthouse. He said, hey, I've probably figured out, hey, it looks like a courthouse. Looks like a courthouse. So I'll go in there and I'll try to get a citizen's arrest. All right? So what I'm trying to say is it's starting to border on kookiness. Right? A little bit. He's a little crazy. Right? All right? And then he, the next day, apparently, he went to Gracie Mansion, where, where Bill de Blasio, the mayor of New York City, lives. And he was, he was found, he, they, they, had, they had already ID'd him as a crazy guy. And they, they, they let him go. Uh, did he have a gun? Was he ready to shoot the Blasio too? Was that, was, was that what was going to happen? Was he going to go shoot Nancy Pelosi and, and Adam Schiff? I don't know. Right. <laughs> But that's that's the, the the you know the stuff that's going on. So, so again, we have to find out why. Why the Gambino crime family? Why did he? Why did he shoot the boss of the Gambino crime family? So. 
So that's what we know about that's what we know about the incident. Right? A man shoots a man shoots the, the, the Gambino crime boss one night for no apparent reason, no no connection. Was it a mob hit? Well, we still don't know. There are connections to the construction business of which he is involved in and his father is involved in. That the mob, in fact, is has infiltrated and has for years and years and years. Here's another speculation that... Well, I'll, I'll get to that speculation in a second. I just want to... Um, just want to talk about... Oh, they never found the gun. You want to know where the gun is? I'll tell you where the gun is. Right? If you were to... Where we are in Staten Island, again, you know where I am. If you Google it, you'll find, you'll find me. Right? And you were traveling to New Jersey. You would cross the outer bridge, 440. So if you want to find the gun, that's where it is. He went over that bridge and he chucked the gun in the water. I'd be, I'd, I don't know how you would dig the gun out of the water, but if you want to find that gun, he chucked that shit off the bridge. He either slowed down and flung it out the passenger window, or he made a full stop and threw it. That's my, that's, that's where the gun is if you want to find it. All right, so I want to say too that, that there's no way, there's no way on earth that Anthony Camillo, a regular kid, 24 years old, growing up in this neighborhood, this very peaceful Staten Island neighborhood, who kills the boss of the Gambino crime family, is going to be allowed to live. It's just not going to happen. You can see, it's just regular homes, one family, two family. There's nothing special and nothing really to see. And I think that's my point. But there's no way that this, this, this guy will be allowed to live. Because if he is, then what does that say about the Gambino crime family? That they have no muscle. That someone could just kill their boss and get a pass. So he's a, he's a marked man. He's dead. Whether, he was, whether that was a sanctioned hit or not is irrelevant. That he will be, he'll be probably allowed to get to, you know, upstate. When he's sentenced to upstate prison, he'll probably, you know, he'll probably get up there and, and, then, and then get whacked. All right? That's my suspicion on that one. But let's talk about QAnon. He's the QAnon killer. He showed up in court and he flashed his palm that said, QAnon. It said, it said mega forever. It said patriots in charge, right? He has no link to organized crime, but in open court, he's, he's, he's flashing QAnon, the Q. What does it mean? Why did he do it? He told the press, don't believe in fairy tales. Is he jealous of Sicilians? There's a, there's a phenomenon in the mob right now where, because of Trump, no immigration, right? This is speculation. No immigrants. Sicilians are infiltrating the mob here, right? The, the, the Gambino crime family was an American mob. And now the Sicilians, the Italians, are coming and taking it over because they're more ruthless and more willing to, you know, do whatever. Right? So, that is one speculation that he saw in a twisted way that he was helping Trump fight immigration by killing the mob boss who was hiring Italians. <laughs> it's a little wacky, but we have to look at the mentality of the person. The person is, a, is delusional. He's trying to make citizens arrest on high high profile Democrats. He's he's literally he's not just thinking about it, but he's actually acting on it by going to Gracie Mansion and having police escort him off the property. He's got an oxycotton habit. He's a chain Marlboro smoker. Right? What other pills has he taken? He's probably high on on that 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 super skunk pot, right? Hallucinating. Jonesing on Oxycontin, 
deep in the in the electronic rabbit hole of QAnon, following Q, the, the next drop, watching watching all the all the conspirators and 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 whipping up this fantasy in his mind. Because we don't trust the press anymore. That's the the blaring the blaring fact is that we don't trust our media anymore. So how many people are down the rabbit hole trying to figure out what is true and what is not? Right? Q is Trump. Q is high military intelligence. Q is God. It's, a, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Now, I know people are going to say, oh, no, Conti, you got it wrong. He's just one wacko. Well, is he a wacko? Or is he acting is he acting in such a way where because the QAnon, whoever this fuck is, is putting out this information in a in an ambiguous way, and you got every kook, you know, every YouTube kook jumping on it for, for clicks. Right? And now you see what happens when you when you when you perpetrate a fraud like this. Right? Because that's what it is. It's a fraud. It's a it's a total it's 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 total bullshit. At one at one point it may have been you could have interpreted it as educational, but now you have to interpret it as something something rather dangerous and something insidious, you know, that could resurface again. Another example, another guy coming out of nowhere gunning down somebody because he wants to be famous. Or he's acting on the voices in his head, like, I don't know, who comes to mind? Uh, Mark David Chapman, who shot John Lennon and sat on the curb and read Catcher in the Rye and waited for the police to come. How about David Berkowitz, who said the dog told him to shoot, the, uh, to shoot all those people with his magnum? Right. Is it unusual that one lone, one lone kook, a lone wolf will act and, and kill and then you, you couple that with a fantasy story like Q, who's going to save the world and rid the world of all the pedophiles running, running the high government and locking up Hillary. And Obama's, they got Obama and Gitmo and, and, and Soros is, is, is in handcuffs and Gitmo and all this, this craziness, right? And you get one naive young man who's just like, fuck it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to do this, right? I'm going to do this for my country. He thinks he did good. And why the Gambino crime family? Why? 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 Why end your life in that way? <laughs> you might as well just drink yourself to death, or you know, oxycotton yourself to death, right? He chose to. He chose to to to, sh to shoot the Gambino crime boss. It doesn't. There's something not to it. But what what is what is ultimately clear is that, the the rabbit hole of Q. Is now is now crossed over. We have a QAnon killer. His name is Anthony Camillo. Right? He's, 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 this is, if, if this isn't the hottest story in QAnon land, well, then I don't know what is. Because one of your guys is not sitting there following the plan or waiting for shit to happen. This kid just, this kid just executed one of the most infamous crime hits in, 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 in decades, right? The last godfather that was whacked like that was John Gotti, right? And John Gotti whacked Paul Castellano, right? Now, for one mobster to whack another mobster, that's not unusual, <laughs> right? And that's not frowned upon. When one gangster whacks another gangster, that's a power grab. And if the gangster kills the one gangster kills the other gangster, the gangster that's still alive becomes the boss. It's almost like a duel. But when some outside force comes in and, and hits the guy for no reason, no apparent reason that he may have fantasized about his daughter, right? Or something like that, some bullshit story. I don't believe that. All right? So we'll keep following this today in New Jersey. He's still, the QAnon killer is still in New Jersey. 
and he's he's apparently going to be extradited today to Staten Island. Now there is no jail in Staten Island, and there's no holding pen in Staten Island. He'll be in Brooklyn House of Detention, or he'll be in Manhattan Correctional Facility, in the same place that they they're holding Caesar Sayoc, or he'll be in Brooklyn House of Detention, or I'm sorry, Rikers Island. He'll be in one of those three holding facilities while he waits trial. Today he'll be charged with murder. Now I could go down to the courthouse and see the back of his head getting out of the van and but I think the story is here in the neighborhood that he grew up in on the corner where he walked and and bought his cigarettes the loner the lone wolf with no friends and no girlfriend living in his mother's house caught in the in the rabbit hole of Q looking for answers because he didn't trust the government anymore he didn't trust the media. He lost his trust. He lost his trust in, in, in America. Okay? And now you have the Rabba Mueller. Russia. One side's Russia. The other side is QAnon. Right? What do we believe anymore? Is it, it's, it's all about money. It's all about... Watch my show because... I need your clicks. Right? There's no truth to it. The bottom line becomes about money. So we'll continue. We'll continue to follow this case. QAnon killer. They got him, but how many more are there? Are there others? Are there others? My name is Marcus Conti reporting. Kindly become a Patreon of this channel and support this work. This is the truth. Marcus Conti reporting.